I have a routine I go through every time I need to buy something. I guess how much it should cost, I search for it, I scoff at the price, and then build my own. Today I did that with scales to weigh my car, but I ended up with what I think is a better design than what you can already buy for less money. Scales to weigh your car, sometimes called corner weight scales, are expensive. People use corner weight scales to set up their race cars at the track. The dynamics of the car will change when you add preload to one of the tires. In circle track racing, they sometimes call this boogering up the wedge, which I promise is a thing I did not just make up. These scales are in the thousands of dollars. They're very accurate, they have bells and whistles, but I just need to know about how much my car weighs in the front and the rear. I don't need it to be super accurate, just kind of close. I'm afraid my car is going to be too rear heavy, so I want to check it. If I know what the weight balance is now, with the car together and no engine, I can estimate the location of the parts going in and calculate my weight balance forward to back. It's currently looking like I'm in Porsche 911 territory, which is not great, but it sounds okay when you say Porsche 911 territory. I had to weigh my Honda S600 too, but that was easy. The whole car weighs about 1300 pounds and it's fairly evenly balanced, so I just bought four bathroom scales. You can get them up to 400 pounds. I stood on all of them individually and they were within a couple of pounds, so I knew my corner weights would be reasonably accurate. I can't do that with the Jag because it weighs about three times as much as the Honda. It's hard to find bathroom scales that go above 400 pounds. When you get into larger weights, it's all shipping scales and other scales that are expensive or oddly shaped. There is a workaround that will let you use the cheap bathroom scales, you just use leverage. You can put the wheel on a board with the scale at one end and a block supporting it at the other end. You have to make sure the beam is level, so I use this copy of the service manual to level it out. The total weight between the scale and the supporting block is always the weight of that corner of the car, and if you know the distances, you can do the math. Here, the scale is two-thirds of the way from the tire. The supporting block is one-third of the way. Since the scale is twice the distance from the tire as the supporting block, it has half the weight. A better way to think of it might be this. If this side has one-third the total distance, then the other side has one-third the total weight. If this side has one-tenth the total distance, then the other side would have one-tenth the total weight. So I take this number on the scale, triple it, and I have my corner weight. And there you go. That's the cheapest way to do this. Bathroom corner scales. One drawback of this is that when you jack up one corner of the car higher like this, it loads that corner more heavily. So if you do this individually on each tire, you'll get the wrong weights and a total weight that is a lot more than the car. You can fix this by putting blocks under all of the other tires that are the same height as your scale thing, or you could just build four of these and put one at each corner. You also need your car on level ground to do this correctly. Most garages have a slight slope downwards towards the door. Mine does, which is nice for whenever I spill random chemicals in the garage, which is fairly often. Anyway, I decided to do this leverage idea, but instead of using bathroom scales, I bought load cells. In fact, I just bought a DIY agriculture scale. This comes with four load cells and a readout panel. This was intended as a cheap way for people who want to weigh cows and goats and shit to build a scale. Just make some kind of platform, bolt one load scale at each corner, and weigh your pigs. I figure I could scale down the balance scale thing, make four of them, and have cheap compact corner weights. I built platforms that would rest on a 2x4 on one side and a load cell on the other side. I made the platforms kind of small, but big enough for a tire contact patch. The wheel would be centered using wood strips, offset towards the load cell. I can't put the load cell directly under the tire, otherwise it wouldn't have any stability. The way I have it here, the load cell is offset a little bit, just like the balance beam thing we did earlier, so I will have to do some math. Thankfully, I spent a lot of money on college to learn math. More thankfully, I have a calculator that makes all that math I learned unnecessary. The idea here is that I could put one of these under each tire and use the readout to just switch between the load cells, writing down each one. I got about 80% of the way through this before I realized it was a stupid idea. For one, they're not very stable given their compact tripod design. Also, the wood platforms made some unsettling sounds as I loaded the car weight onto them. This made the whole situation kind of sketchy, and don't get me wrong, I like a certain amount of sketchy, but this was pushing it. Also, the tires really need to be in the exact spot, or the leverage will be wrong and it'll give you the wrong readings. The real nail in the coffin here was that the readout needs to be calibrated separately for each of the load cells. If you're using all of them, you can calibrate them together. You just connect them together through this junction box. But the way I was doing it meant that I would need to calibrate it to one corner, measure that corner, move to the next corner, recalibrate, measure, move to the next corner, and so on. I started to draw up an Arduino design that would have four separate adjustable inputs for each load cell, and then a display to show each weight. At this point, I decided to just wipe the drawing board clean and start over. 
All I need to do is get scales underneath each wheel without moving the wheel up too high and messing up the weights. I drew up a platform with four scales and a lower center. This way I could jack up one corner of the car, slide the scale under the tire, lower the jack, and read the weight. This would be slightly wrong because the wheel would have to be higher than the ground because the platform thickness and to make sure the platform was not touching the ground, but that would probably be close enough for me. But then I have to jack up every corner of the car, slide this thing under, drop the car, jack it back up, remove it, let the car back down, move to the next wheel, and do that four times. What if I made something that jacked up the corner and weighed it at the same time? Then I remembered these ratcheting wheel dollies. These are great. You roll it under the wheel, push down on the pedal a few times, and it jacks up the tire. Do this on four wheels and you can roll the car around. We use these in NASCAR and the prototype shops I worked at to move vehicles around the shop all the time. All I needed to do was put the load cell between the casters and the dolly. This was pretty easy. I bolted the load cells to the top and then screwed the casters into the load cell. I replaced the swivel feet with the casters that came with the dolly. Cable management was a little more difficult. I wanted to have the cables run inside the rollers so I wouldn't be rolling over and breaking wires. I drilled holes and fished them through with the help of some welding wire. Then I just did a quick check to make sure each corner was connected and working. And that's it. It's done. Just roll it under the wheel and jack it up like you normally would with one of these things. And there's your corner weight. This could not be easier. There is some inaccuracy because the tire deforms, so you have to jack it up a little bit higher than it normally sits. I don't really care about that because it's close enough for me. But if you had four of these things, it wouldn't matter because you could jack them all up to the same height. In fact, if you were somewhere that wasn't level, you could use these jacks to level out the car. You could maybe put a laser level on one corner and adjust all the other corners until they're level with the laser. Just make sure you have locking wheels so your car doesn't roll down the hill. Dude, I just invented a better corner weight system. I should patent this. Nah, fuck that. What will I build next? I don't know. I do know, actually, it's right in there. But if you want to find out, hit that subscribe button and follow along. Be sure to like and share and all that other stuff, and I'll see you next time.